Friends today I am incredibly excited because today I have brought you a very different video. Today I will tell you how to migrate Windows 11 from a virtual machine to an external hard drive. So we can use Windows 11 and Mac OS Ventura as a dual boot, without compromising our Mac speed. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends we all know that when we use Windows 11 in a virtual machine, we have to share our Mac's RAM and processor with the virtual machine which affects the performance of both operating systems, and your Mac slows down too. Now if you have installed a lot of programs and software on your Windows 11 virtual machine, and if you want to use all these programs and Windows 11 with full resources of your Mac, then this video is for you. Because in this video we will migrate Windows 11 from a virtual machine to an external hard drive in three easy steps. For this, we need three things. An external USB hard drive that is at least 64 GB or more. I would recommend you use a good USB-C or USB 3.0 SSD for that. Your USB drive must be empty. The second thing we will need is the bootcamp drivers. You can download them with the help of the link given in the video description. And third, we will need a software, mini tool partition. Its download link is also available in the video description. So after you download and install the mini tool partition, go to the start menu and open it as an administrator. So disk 1 here is our virtual machine. And down here, disk 2 is our external USB drive. The name and capacity of your USB drive will be mentioned in front of it. Now we have to delete all the partitions of this USB drive. For this, right-click on any partition of this USB and choose Delete. In this way, one by one, you can delete all the partitions of your USB drive. When you are left with a single unallocated partition, then click on Apply button. This process will take some time, and you will get a successful message after the process is finished. Click on the OK, and now we have a single partition in our USB drive. After that, click on Migrate OS to SSD. Choose second method to migrate the system disk and click Next. Make sure your target disk is selected here. Click the Next button. Don't touch anything and click Next. Click on the OK and then click on the Finish button. At last, click Apply button to execute pending operations and click Yes in the pop-up prompt window to allow changes. This process may take a long time depending on the size of your virtual machine and the speed of the USB. So take it easy and wait to finish. After the process is finished, you will get a successful message. Click on OK and that's all. Our Windows 11 is migrated to our external hard drive. So now we close the mini tool and parallels desktop and proceed to step number two. In step number two, you have to download the bootcamp drivers. You can download them using the link given in the description of this video. If you are using an Intel Mac instead of an M1 or M2 Mac, I would recommend you download them using bootcamp. For this, you have to go to the utility folder and open the bootcamp app. Now go to the action menu and click on download Windows support software. You cannot save these drivers to the Windows 11 drive because it is formatted in NTFS. For this, you can save these drivers to another USB drive which is formatted in FAT or XFAT or simply save them on any location of your Mac. After the bootcamp drivers are downloaded, you can save them to the Windows 11 drive using Parallels Desktop. Now restart your Mac. As soon as you hear the startup sound, press the Option key on your keyboard. Just letting you know for your information. The option key doesn't work on Apple Silicon Macs. You have to press the power key for the boot peaker screen at startup. Anyway, select the EFI boot volume and hit the enter key. So friends, you can see that I have successfully migrated Windows 11 on my external USB drive. Go to the location where you saved the boot camp driver. In my case, I saved them to my second USB drive. Now install Bootcamp drivers on Windows. After installation restart your computer. 
After installation of the boot camp, the window is working smoothly. And now I can also connect to the internet. My Bluetooth is also working, let's check the boot camp. You can see that my max hard drive is still not showing up here. Let's fix boot camp. Go to your start menu and open Apple software update. Now install all available updates. If it gives you an error, then please don't worry. Click on OK. Reopen the Apple software update. Go to the tool menu and choose download only. Once the software updates are downloaded, you can install them on your computer. After installation please restart your computer. Now when you go to the control panel of your boot camp again, you will see that the hard drive of your Mac is now showing here. This means I can now switch between Windows and Mac using Boot Camp. So friends this way you can enjoy Windows 11 on your Mac with the help of external drive. So guys hope you like this video if you have any questions you can feel free to ask in the comments section. Please like and share this video for motivation. My channel is all about Mac OS and Windows, I will highly appreciate it if you subscribe my channel. For more useful videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day.